Okay, here's a very quick introduction to how you can get XML data from the web. Uh, if you're looking for information from some website, it would be really nice if they had an XML feed or an RSS feed. Uh, they're both XML documents, so that would be great. So we'll start out assuming that we're going to find one for what we're looking for. And uh, the way we do it is we create some variable of type XML element. And then we use this syntax to get it going. And right here is where either the file name, if you've dropped a, an XML document onto your sketch, would go, or um, a URL. So let's find a URL. If we uh, look on Google for uh, earthquake, well, earthquake XML, I know I'll find it at usgs.gov. So here's a list of uh, recent earthquakes. And if you look over here, there's Atom and RSS. These are both XML documents. You can see down at the bottom when I hover over them, they show up as XML documents. So I can choose either one. Let's go with uh, past day M2.5 plus earthquakes Atom. So uh, because I'm using Google Chrome, the browser has formatted that XML feed to look really nice. Your browser may just dump the, the actual XML document on the screen or it might show it differently. Uh, I'm going to click on feed so it actually shows me the real content of the document. And uh, so you can see that it's structured. It kind of looks like HTML, but it's more structured. If you look, line 11 has an entry, and, uh, and then line 12 has a new entry. You can see that's the end of the, that entry. And within that entry, there's, uh, there's an ID, beginning and end. There's a title. Title, I'm going to stop there because title looks pretty interesting. That contains something that says uh, the magnitude and where it is. So I'm going to stop there. And I'll just grab this XML document. And I will go back to my processing sketch and put it in here as a URL. And that, that's really it. It's already parsed it. It's looked through all of that formatting and it's put it in this structured, uh, in this variable for us. So the way that we access that stuff is we can, the easiest way anyway, for, for us I think, is to um, look at this document and say, okay, there's an entry and within the entry there's a title. That's really what I want to get for each one of these entries. So I can use this get children method and tell it I want to look for an entry and a title within that entry. That's the syntax. You could keep going with more slashes if it was uh, a really deep document, but this one, it looks fine. And this returns an array. It returns an array of uh, XML elements. So I will say, I'll call this titles, and I need to declare that array of XML elements up here. So uh, that should really be it. Now, you know, the normal syntax that we use to look at what's in an array, we can do that here. And just print it out. The only problem is if I just do this, uh, it'll fail. And the reason for that, I'm running it right now, the reason why it'll fail, oh, I actually didn't fail. <laughs> well, the reason, what we'd normally want to do is basically tell this XML element that we've gotten back out of the array that we want to get just the content of it. There's some other ways that you can do this, but this if we do this, it'll just get, it'll skip all the tags and everything, and it'll just show us the contents. Uh, so it's stripped out all the tags, and now we see all the earthquakes, and uh, each one of those is a separate item in that array. So that's pretty, that's pretty handy. This is how we do it. Uh, the other thing is, you know, like you can look around and find feeds everywhere. So if I look on Craigslist and I go to like the free section of Craigslist, if you look up here, there's an RSS link and here's an RSS feed. It looks just like the other one. So uh, if I, you know, you kind of have to decipher this document and hopefully you can find some XML editor for your computer or some browser that will show it a little nicer than this does. Even though this has color coding, it doesn't really indent it properly. But I can see that there are um, items in here, I think at some point, uh, an item, and within it, it contains a title. So if we just take this and uh, go back to our sketch, might get cut off here, so you'll have to try it on your own if I do. But uh, basically, item and title is the format of this document. It doesn't have entries and titles, it has items and titles. So there it is. There's all the free stuff in San Diego from Craigslist. So uh, that's it. That's how you can get stuff out of an XML document, or at least the easiest way. There's much more complicated ways to use this, but this is as simple as it gets, I think. Good luck.